In this short video, we'll be discussing in depth one significant aspect of horse health and wellness, one that has a tremendous impact on the horse's overall health, condition, attitude, and performance. Everything that matters most to you and your clients. We're talking about equine digestive health. You may be aware of ulcers, colic, or other digestive health conditions in horses. What you may not realize is just how widespread these problems are. You may also not be aware that these conditions are the result of a sequence of events that begins right in your own barn. The way we feed, manage, and care for our horses often works against the way their digestive systems were designed. The equine evolved to graze continuously, not to be fed intermittently. As a result, many horses today live in a constant state of digestive imbalance. So it's not surprising that the incidence of ulcers in horses is so high. And we don't always see the signs, but they're there. Behavior and performance issues are often accepted as natural limitations in the horse's ability or they're simply considered training issues. But digestive health may be the real underlying problem. Understanding the digestive health of the horse is the first step in managing this delicate and important system, and that means understanding the entire system. Today, most people are familiar with issues in the horse's stomach, like gastric ulcers, but the fact is that the stomach represents only about 5 to 10 percent of the entire volume of the digestive tract in a horse. In fact, a large portion of the digestion in horses occurs in the hindgut. To address total digestive health, Effective diagnosis and treatment of digestive conditions must consider the total digestive system, including both the foregut and the hindgut. Let's look at how a sequence of events can lead to serious digestive health issues in a horse and the important role of the hindgut in this process. The horse's hindgut includes the large intestine, comprised of the cecum and the colon. Like humans, horses cannot digest fiber. But here in the hindgut of the horse, millions of bacteria and other microorganisms ferment the structural carbohydrates that make up fiber, converting them to volatile fatty acids, which the horse can digest. These VFAs represent the most important source of energy for the horse. Of course, our horses today have less fiber in their diets. They're fed concentrates, such as processed grain, pellets, or sweet feed, with less opportunity for turnout. The lack of constant grazing, the lack of fiber in the diet, the high content of simple sugars and starches in processed feed all contribute to digestive imbalance. Without the constant flow of fibrous grass feed and saliva, the acid in the stomach is left unbuffered. This has been shown to create conditions that may lead to stomach ulcers. Meanwhile, processed feeds can reach the hindgut undigested, especially when they're consumed quickly. Here, the microorganisms in the cecum and colon convert simple sugars and starches into lactic acid, which can lead to a condition called hindgut acidosis. An excess of lactic acid can alter the natural pH balance in the hindgut. A more acidic environment can shift the balance of normal microorganisms and pathogenic bacteria. This can ultimately lead to colonic ulcers. When pathogenic bacteria colonize around compromised areas of the mucosal lining of the colon, such as pits left by parasites. If these ulcers are severe and include significant blood loss, you may find the horse is suffering from a low-grade anemia. Worse yet, the body responds to significant blood loss by constricting arteries that supply blood to the affected area. The anterior mesenteric artery is an important source of blood to the colon. Severe bleeding colonic ulcers that result in the constriction of this artery may result in necrosis of colonic tissue. Necrotic tissue, literally dead tissue, will reduce peristalsis, the muscular movements that move feed matter along. This may ultimately lead to impaction colic. Is this common? Well, certainly we know that the incidence of gastric and colonic ulcers in performance horses is extremely high, and we know that colic is the number one killer of horses. We also know that how we feed and care for our horses today is very different from even a hundred years ago. Yet the digestive tract remains the same, complex, delicate system. If this entire system, including both the foregut and hindgut, is not considered in this context, conditions will persist that create this chain of physiological events that can ultimately lead to colic and ulcers. 
In order to effectively and accurately treat these conditions, we need to know they exist. Diagnosis of digestive health conditions has traditionally been an uncertain science. Many horse owners and their veterinarians rely on symptoms, but this can be highly unreliable. Available diagnostic technology is limiting. Endoscopy, the most common approach to diagnosing ulcers, is fairly reliable but also fairly invasive and costly. And it can only be used to view the stomach, leaving conditions in the colon to guesswork. As a result, many practitioners rely on treatments for their diagnosis. If we treat for ulcers and the horse responds, the logic goes the problem must have been ulcers. But this can be costly and unreliable, or worse. Fortunately, new developments are making accurate digestive health diagnostics easier, more reliable, and affordable. A new rapid antibody test, the Succeed Equine Fecal Blood Test, or FBT, may help veterinarians accurately identify both gastric and colonic lesions in horses within a matter of minutes right in the barn. The new FBT detects specific blood components in horse manure in excess of normal levels as an indication of digestive tract conditions like ulcers. The test uses proprietary antibodies specific to equine albumin and hemoglobin. Taken together, the two parts of the test can help differentiate foregut from hindgut conditions. The new FBT works as a differential diagnostic aid because proteasis and peptidasis in the stomach and duodenum are known to completely digest albumin, while hemoglobin is resistant to the enzymes, acids, and bacteria throughout the GI tract. As a result, a positive test for albumin in equine feces indicates a digestive tract injury at a point caudal to the common bile duct in the proximal portion of the small intestine, generally in the hindgut. The presence of hemoglobin in the manure indicates injury anywhere along the GI tract. Together and with the aid of other diagnostic methods, one can generally assess the condition of the entire digestive tract. This new test is easy and quick to administer. It's the only reliable, non-invasive approach to diagnosing and distinguishing foregut and hindgut conditions in horses. And that means you can treat the underlying problem quickly and accurately. In spite of the size and importance of the hindgut in the horse, most digestive products and treatments today seem to only address the stomach. In fact, such approaches typically treat symptoms rather than causes, leaving the underlying problems to persist or even worsen. The best approach to treatment may be to address the root causes of digestive imbalance, which can lead to specific clinical conditions like ulcers. There is an option for practitioners who prefer to manage digestive health rather than treating symptoms after they occur. Prescribing a functional feed program, such as Succeed Digestive Conditioning Program, may help horses avoid the effects of digestive imbalance. Functional feed programs supplement the horse's daily feeding with specialized nutrients that support the healthy structure and function of the digestive system. Even in the face of unnatural conditions of modern performance horse care and feeding, functional feed programs can help horses maintain optimal digestive health. The specialized nutrients in a functional feed program address different aspects of a healthy digestive tract. Increased nutrient absorption, normal transit of grain feed, healthy immune function, a strong mucosal lining, and the reduction of pathogenic bacteria and mycotoxins. These are the components of healthy digestive function, which are often compromised by the high-stress lifestyle of the modern performance horse, which includes confinement in stalls, intermittent feeding, high grain diets, limited turnout, and rigorous exercise, the elements that lead to digestive imbalance.